I speak out before us is a bill seeking to amend the Nigerian Labor Act to prohibit and criminalize the organization of workers after six months of engagement by employers in Nigeria and also are prohibiting and criminalizing outsourcing of employment in public representation of an employer and other related matters. Mr. Speaker, the, one of the major problems confronting Nigerian workers today is the problem of casualization and outsourcing of employment in core areas of uh, uh, the business of uh, uh, employers. And this is an obnoxious practice that has rendered many of Nigerian workers uh, in state of disguise unemployment. Because in most, most times, these employers, they engage these workers under very deplorable conditions and terms of uh, employment. And this, they are taking advantage of Laguna in the Labor Act. And this amendment is seeking to one, abolish capitalization and also criminalize capitalization. And also abolishing and sourcing of jobs within employers or areas of business and criminalizing sales. Presently, uh, Section 7 of the, of the Labor Act provides that not later than three months after the, after the engagement of an employer of the worker, the employer shall give him a written statement of employment containing the terms and conditions of employment. However, under the extent law, there is no adequate consequence for non-compliance. And employers of labor are taking advantage of this. And that is why it is not a problem to find workers in the banking industry, in the, in the telecom industry, and even in the oil and gas that they are employed and remain as allies for so many years. And some of them, when they are at their services, are dispensed of in a certain number of years that they are spent in the in employment, you know, uh, at the wins and practices of the uh, of the employers. So generally, a worker is said to be in a state of unemployment when he is being employed or having a job. It can also be said to be a state in which the person employed is remunerated for work done. Also, from employment, employees will receive benefits in addition to better to payments such as health insurance, housing, disability insurance, etc. But the issue of capitalization has been exploited by the Nigerian employers so that these are workers, categories of workers, do not get full benefits, you know, that they are entitled to. Now, the, the art, I and mean, the amendment we are seeking is one to the end, I mean, uh, by adding to section, I mean, a, a new section 8, which states as follows that every worker can either engage or employed by and has remained in such employment for a period of not less than six months shall have his employment for engagement regularized by the employer as a full and permanent staff of such employer with all his accompanying entitlements. And two, any, any employer, subsection two of section eight, 
the new addition requires that any employer who disengages a worker after a period of six months from the date of first engagement without regularizing the worker's employment, as in subsection 1 of this section, shall at the date of disengagement pay the full salary and all allowances and entitlement due to the permanent staff for six months, as if the worker had been a permanent staff in the employment of the employee and of the employee for six months immediately preceding the date of disengagement, provided the worker has not been found by the of any criminal act involving fraud resulting to financial losses to the company. Now, uh, notwithstanding section 23 of this act, failure to comply with the provisions of subsection 1, 2, and 2 above is an offense, and the employer, in the case, in the case of, natural, uh, of natural person, shall be liable on conviction to a fine not exceeding 2, two million naira or to imprisonment of the period of two years, or to both the first fine and imprisonment are the court will deem fit without prejudice to the right of the workers to see full entitlements as provided under this section. Now, it, it also, what? Yes. It also, the other uh, section of the, uh, the other part of the amendment, which deals with the uh, Assortment of employment of jobs in employed an employer's or area of business, you know, uh, provides that notwithstanding section 25 of this act, an employer who obtains the minister's license to so employ uh, employment and uh, 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 minister's license, employment assessed by such employer within this four areas. Of, of, of uh, occasion is thereby prohibited. What, it, what this is saying is that if you obtain a license to operate uh, a business, say for instance banking, and you now outsource, you now outsource your uh, jobs within the core area of business, you are committing an offense. And what this, in summary, what this amendment is seeking is one, to stop your vicious practice of casualization in the management as is presently being experienced, particularly in the major, uh, I mean, the major sectors of the of Nigerian economy, such as the banking industry, the telecom industry, even in government. You know, so, I mean, we have a situation that workers remain in employment for upward of five, six, seven, or even up to ten years. Up to ten years, and they remain as a nice. So the other aspect, which is banning the uh, outsourcing of employment, for instance, in the bank, it's not uncommon to find tellers, tellers in the bank being uh, casualized or outsourced staff. So, uh, uh, Mr. Speaker, my colleagues, this, I, I, uh, I seek your support for this amendment with this uh, attitude in the Act, such as to make the environment, the paper environment, more conducive and beneficial to Nigerian workers. Mr. Speaker, my colleague, uh, my uh, my this is my colleague, my colleague, my The result is that most companies now, especially foreign firms, all their workers are casual. You will have a worker who will work for six months, who will work for one year, who will work for even ten years. He's doing so well, but he will make it work. All of it is just an attempt to maximize profit. Regularly, we read the American Employment Index. So about, about 400,000 people will be employed in the US, so about 300,000, so about 400,000. That way, we can know how the economy is going. But here, because of casualization, you can never know the number of people that are employed. I'm aware that, you know, casualization is a tool that management uses once in a while to address some short-term measures. But it should not be a permanent thing. What is happening in Nigeria today is that casualization is a permanent thing. All the banks, all the banks are very busy of this. If you don't need the worker, 
Why would you keep somebody for three, four, five years as a casual worker? If you don't do well, why, why are you applying? And I just say that what is happening is that in the banks, some top management staff of the banks who want to make money without employ people as casual, they will be paid the full salary the worker is supposed to earn, they put the balance in their pocket and pay the people pictures. That is also what is happening in the oil economy. I think this must be humanity to ban. And I think that these green shepherds are the only people who can correct uh, this, this oppression of our people. If you don't need a worker, don't apply. But to apply a worker and keep him for years as casual at the end of the day, you throw him out, she not pay him pension, he has no medical, he has no benefit in the economies, I think it's wicked. And this is done by in an industry where there's so much profit, in an industry where so much money is being made, the, the top animal staff, the, the directors, they smile, smile to the back. In Nigeria, it's prevalent um, in the banking industry, in the oil sector, and then it's part of the telecom sector. You have a situation in which um, people work for 10 years and they get to work one day and find out that their keys can no longer open their offices because they've been laid off at casuals. You have people who are engaged to work, they do the core work, but even in the workplace, they cannot go to the same place where those who work with them go to. They can't enter the same week. They can't eat to the same place, they don't have the same salaries, they are treated differently. It is one in which some Nigerians are just nationalists, while some are treated as leaves and some kings in a workplace where people work equally. And I think it's a bad precedent. By the time the issue of nationalization was started in Nigeria, it was meant to be short term measure. One month, two months, three months to fill gaps. But what you have in these industries now is that they are using casualization and and our sources, especially, as we saw, drive forth and shine away from their responsibilities to our Nigerian workers. So I want to make my voice to this, and I pray for my colleagues to please give it expedited um, support. Mr. Speaker, dear colleagues, I urge to support this bill to be out timely. I would even say it's over due. Mr. Speaker, <laughs> there's no better way to describe what is going on than the wickedness. Absurd. They wait, they employ people on as casual workers. You work for them three, four years. They are sad. They are made to reapply. Work for them three, four years. They are sad to reapply. So you are somebody working in an industry for about ten years and is not due for any entitlement. Mr. Speaker, there's another dimension to it. You call it outsourcing. You got a company. The company will warehouse all the businesses. So, you're working for a particular company, but you do not have a direct employment or a direct access to that company. So, when you have issues, they disown you that they don't know you. Because, at the issue, you are not employed properly by that company. Mr. Speaker, my dear colleagues, what this law seeks to do is to amend the Labour Act and make it impossible for people to engage in this act. If you are, if you are going to employ people temporarily for a specific job and have a time frame defined, it's understandable. But when you find banks, oil companies running for the past 30, 40 years, business and they could not, they would refuse to employ their people. Unfortunately, government agencies are people. I am aware of a government agency that have employed some graduates in the last three years as casual workers. Meanwhile, on their budget, they have everything required for this, for this work as, as company workers. So somebody somewhere use the casualization procedure to take what belongs to these workers right My dear colleagues, I appeal to us for the sake of those who invested their vote and time to read those in, that this bill will help cure this abnormal social that has become a norm and a procedure 
Unfortunately for us, we've not been able to have the mind, the gut, the power, the commitment to make sure that our laws are obeyed, especially by foreigners. If you check, Mr. Speaker, my dear colleague, if you take and make effort to check, casualization is common law with foreign companies. They come into here, into Nigeria, and for bring your profit and repartee back. There is no country in the world that goes that way. You see, the city, we must have confidence, we must have trust, we must have this conviction that they are proceeding and law to secure them for being exploited. My dear police, I appeal to you to support this thing. Let's make a look at our culture. Let it be on record that the United Assembly did this for the Nigerian workforce. Thank you.